everybody. Welcome to Crochet Life and Other Stuff with Deborah. Name pending. We're probably going to change it at some point. Um, just wanted to check in again. Kind of going to do this a little bit podcast style, maybe once a week. That's sort of the plan from here on out. And to kind of move things along, I'm just going to hop right in and start with a couple of finished objects. Now I did finish this. This is the first wearable that I made. A lot of you probably will recognize the style of it. It would be nice if I had the sleeve popped out. This is the Prosperity Tea uh, from Dana and uh, Creative Crochet. Um, I'll show you the pattern in a second. It is a paid pattern. I made it using this yarn that I got on clearance. Um, Dream, Lion Brand Dream Maker Fantasy. It is a five weight yarn. It's weird. It's like this chain spun, almost t-shirty kind of yarn. Sorry for the bad nails. Uh, it's a variegated, as you can see from the way it worked up. Easy to work with, definitely, but it's super stretchy. So that's something to keep in mind because it is the way I worked my tension, it made it a little bit small on the shirt. But I love it. I wear it over um, a bright pink uh, tank that I have that matches this. And uh, yeah, it was kind of fun to work on. Like I said, it was my very first wearable to make. And if you've never made a wearable before, that is definitely a good thing to start with. And I will link it below so that you can get it yourself. Let me toss this over here. Yeah, this is it right here. Put it up close. It is the Prosperity Cropped Tee. Not showing the pattern, but I do want to show you what it looks like. And there's Miss Dana wearing it. And uh, she has a lot of good patterns there. I got this off of her Ravelry site. Another finished object. I kind of went nuts. And I made the Super Simple Shrug by Jean at On The Hook Crochet. Uh, another paid pattern, but let me tell you, definitely worth it. It was easy to do. The way she does her patterns, you're not saying, okay, for a large, you crochet X, Y, Z, you know, number of stitches. You measure yourself, you measure your garment, and you make it. Now, one change I am going to make with this, I'm going to add a little button, down, a big button actually right here, to kind of cinch it in, because on me, with my shoulders, it just kind of tries to slide off. I've worn it a few times already. I love the colors. Get a good look at these colors in this. And what I used for it, for the variegated part, this is Red Heart Super Saver, so definitely not expensive to do, in the colorway Macaw. And I just love the way those colors look together. Uh, this is a four weight 100% acrylic, just the standard thing you find with Red Heart, Super Saver, lots of great colors. The trim though, I did in this sapphire blue, and the sapphire is by Big Twist. It is the Big Twist value, which is another four weight, 100% acrylic. Um, this is in the color sapphire. And let me tell you something, between the two of these, I actually I have fallen in love with the Big Twist. It does not split. I haven't found any splitting at all with the big twist in this or just every now and again. And I'm a new crocheter, so things split, things mess up. Uh, the Red Heart, close, but the big twist is even softer. And a lot of fun to make, a lot of fun to wear. I love the colors. I even had my nails to match this for a while because I was so in love with the colors. And by the way, that pattern is a pattern by Jean from On The Hook, and I'll link that below. The Super Simple Shrug, um, her patterns are written conversationally. It's not written, you know, SC2 in next three or anything like that. She walks you through it as if she's doing a tutorial. But that's very, very easy. I also did a little something that she put out that was a free pattern that she did um, because she, she was talking about it and made it one day on one of her podcasts. And this is the Easy Winter Mug Rug. Now, all the experienced crocheters out there can probably go ahead and come up with this on their own. 
I made this out of cotton, out of just a straight four weight cotton. Matter of fact, it is just cotton, the Premier, which is actually 85% cotton and 15% polyester. This came from Dollar Tree. That pretty color. It's blue with like little bits of flecks of other stuff in it. What are they calling that here? Oh, they're calling it blue. Huh. But uh, this little mug rug thing, I actually use it on one of my tray tables. My husband usually likes to put like a hot pad down because the tray table that he uses is kind of a plastic. He's afraid if he puts down a bowl of soup or something, it's going to make it too hot of a plastic. So that's fine. But he, when he saw this, because I actually was showing him the video on the screen because, well, it's what I do. Um, he said, oh, that would be good instead of a pot holder. I'm like, okay. So... I whipped it up, didn't take me long at all, and it's cotton. I can throw it straight in the wash at every opportunity. Now, let me tell you something about this Just Cotton from Dollar Tree, the Premier. It is splitty AF and twisty. You crochet with it, it wants to twist up on its own. That's frustrating. I don't know if I could do a big project in this because I'd want to throw it across the room. But for something small like this, it wasn't too bad. Also, I got some mail, some acquisitions. Uh, no more actual happy mail this time, but I did get some acquisitions. I ordered from Hirschner's, um, which I had never done before, and so they also send you with your package, and yes, I already opened it, because I'm not going to wait until Saturday to open my yarn. Um, all kinds of puzzles. They do all kinds of neat things at Hirschner's. It's not just yarn. It's, it's all kinds of crafts. There's puzzles. There's diamond painting. There's painting accessories. Um, just really all kinds of stuff. I enjoyed looking through everything and saying, oh, I'd like to do that, I'd like to do that, but there's a time issue, okay? Uh, have my little invoice here. I didn't order much. I'll show you my little bag. A very stuffed bag. <laughs> and I, you open it and the yarn tries to pop out. I ordered a bunch of cotton because I want to make some things for around the house, around the kitchen and stuff. Um, everything in here is Premier Home Cotton. The solids are 131 yards, 120 meters. Uh, it is a four weight. It is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. And I got a bunch of different colors. Got colors that worked together. The variegated, by the way, or, or the sort of striped changing colors is only 88 meters or 96 yards. Everything else is the same about it. You can see, boy, that ball band's kind of loose on that little sucker. But this one that is solid is, oh, orange. I was looking for a fancier name. That comes up a little brighter on my camera than it does in real life, but it's a nice orange. It's not a Halloween-y type orange. It's just more a nice fall color. You might put it in your kitchen orange. And this one that's variegated is called Orange Stripe. Boy, they got creative, didn't they? You've got some orange in there, a little warm uh, sort of golden yellow, and this brownish that's actually got a little twinge of like a purplish in it. It's not really purple, but it's, it's not really brown either. But they do look nice together because this kind of matches with that. And I'm probably gonna make some towels and or dish scrubbers out of this one. I also got some of the very same Premier Home Cotton in pewter. I thought they were gonna call it gray. They actually did go a little bit fancy with that one. To go with that one, I got this one called Granite Stripe. All the same stats, just different colors. 
just pretty nice. And the cotton goes a good long way when you're using it for towels and stuff I have found. I don't even know what else I have in here. I did. I opened it and put it back afterwards. Well, those are two different blues. Aha! This is the one I was looking for. This one here, I think, is so flippin' pretty. I would love to have some regular bigger yarn in this, even if it's cotton. I just think it would be awesome. Uh, this is called Ocean Splash. Just a nice blue color. And here I've got one called Cornflower. It's just sort of a, a lighter blue. A cornflower blue. Go figure, that's what they called it. And this one is called Turquoise. Love the turquoise, nice and bright. Almost at the end. Almost. I got a nice sort of buttery yellow, just called yellow. Again, we're losing points for creativity. It's actually a warmer color than my uh, phone camera there is showing it. It looks really nice in person. It's nice and buttery. Got a couple of whites. Both of them just white. We've all seen white cotton yarn before, but it's nice to mix in with any of the others. Or to make something on its own if somebody insists on having a white something. Finally, empty bag, throw it down. Uh, we've got, this one is called Pastel Blue. To me, it looks way more on the greenish side. Almost like a baby green, minty green color. It doesn't look blue, but that's what they're calling it. I think it's pretty, but it doesn't look like what they're calling it. And this one is called peach. I was going to say it's kind of a peachy color. So I have a lot of little cotton projects in my future and, you know, some other stuff too. Um, I do have some whips. I don't have them in here. One of them is just a huge, actually it's the only whip I have at the moment. Wow. Uh, a blanket. I'm making a blanket for the hubs. He wants his own. It's different shades of gray, striped, very basic. Uh, it's with a joined double crochet. I'll bring that on next time. Uh, help me decide on a better name. Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. That's one option. Don't want to just have my name up there. I mean, come on. We got to come up with something better than that. Thanks to everybody who's come by and subscribed lately. I really, I appreciate it. I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but the only place to go is kind of up, right? A uh, big shout out to Ladybird Loves, that is Lisa, uh, over in England. I have spent most of the morning with her content, actually. She's had a couple of lives today and I watch while I work. So I'm working and kind of comment when I can. And um, just a wonderful uh, talk this morning and question and answer period about something big that happened in her life many years ago that still kind of sticks with her. And I could totally understand why. And also she uh, does these great interviews with the Creator Spotlight. And her Creator Spotlight person was Ingrid from Ingrid's Inspirations. Lovely, we'll definitely link them below because I just enjoy them. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off for now. I will talk more about other things as this goes on and I kind of figure out where my head is on this. If you have any ideas for patterns that a beginner can follow, let me know. I have some cotton that I've bought um, that I want to make a pullover sweater with. I've just got to find the right pattern to fit this large body and uh, We'll see how it goes. Come back soon. I'm going to try to do this about once a week. And um, see you on the YouTube streets. Bye now.